Hey there, it's me, Julie, Bay Fan Balzer, and today I'm going to take you through the process of glitter stenciling. So I have a canvas board here and I'm using some modeling paste. This happens to be clear modeling paste. I'm using a stencil. This is called Magic Ladder. And then I'm just using a palette knife to get the modeling paste out onto my card. My card's a little bit big to fit in the mouth of the jar. So I'm going to scrape through the stencil to get the modeling paste through. Now the reason I'm using modeling paste is because I have found that I prefer the look of something slightly dimensional. It's not going to be incredibly dimensional when it's done, but you'll see it's a nice result. You pull off the stencil, oops, I've got a hair in there, um, and then you are going to just wipe away any of those little messy edges. I'm using a baby wipe here to just clean up those messy edges. I found it's easier to do it at this point than later, especially when we start to get glitter involved, because essentially this clear modeling paste is now just glue. So I am shaking the glitter over that wet modeling paste and it should only stick to wet areas. Now I'm shaking it off onto an excess piece of jelly paper. You could use any kind of scrap paper that you want. And I'll repeat this process with the excess glitter until I feel like the entire thing is totally covered. But you can see it's really only sticking to the areas where there is wet modeling paste. And doesn't that look great? But it's not done yet. I'm going to let it dry. Now that it's dry, I've actually done something else because see how cool and shiny and almost lacquered this looks. So I took some um, gloss medium, which is just a clear glossy medium. I poured it over and then I used a brush to brush it across. This is, of course, absolutely after the modeling base is dry. Then what that does is it seals everything in, it gives it a nice shiny finish, and really best of all, you know, the glitter is trapped in there now completely. So when I rub my hand over it, there's absolutely no glitter coming away. So I hope you'll give this whole technique of glitter stenciling a try. It's really cool and super easy. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and visit me online. I'm Balzer Designs everywhere. Thanks so much.